Bearing witness, for me, it's about empathy. I remember years ago before I started doing this, I saw the pigs on the highway and I would cry and I would turn away because it was painful. And I, at that time, I, was, I wasn't vegan, I was vegetarian. I remember thinking, you know, I can't look at that. that that's too hard to look at. And then I saw Anita on the news when she was getting um, charged with giving water to the pigs. And I looked at her and I said, wow, like this is, this is what I should be doing. I can't sit there and turn away. If I turn away, what good am I doing? So she inspired me to get out there. And I, and I think for me, it's about empathy. I just tell them I love them. And they're just like me and you and my dog and the cat. They can feel our love. I've done this for many, many years. And many times when I start talking to them or singing to them, they come closer. They want the love. They're, they're desperate for the love. So that's, that's the main reason. Even though I can't, we can't save them, we can't take them off that truck, it doesn't mean they don't deserve a moment of love. And that's all I can give them. And then the other reason that we're here is to take pictures and videos and share their plight with the world because a lot of people are so disconnected. When we have kids, we take our children to petting zoos and things like that because they, we know our kids love animals and want to hug them and spend time with them. And then we go and we serve their friends to our kids. It's, there's a disconnect it doesn't make sense so showing the plight of these animals to people you know something clicks and says you know what maybe I shouldn't be eating these animals you know there's plenty of alternatives I don't need to eat animals I was raised to eat animals but doesn't mean I have to continue doing that so those are the two reasons that I bear witness Spearmans, the trucking companies that transport them, the slaughterhouses, the factory farms, you know, even our government. They just, they don't want anyone to see the victims, right? Because they're making a lot of money off of their, their suffering. So um, they're trying to silence us, basically, and that's all. You know, when we went in there last year, it was a really hot day in July, and they had pigs sitting outside in the, in the heat. There was some kind of mechanical problem inside, and they were sitting out in the heat for half an hour. So we went in there into the Fearmans and gave them some water. And we caught a little, you know, there was a little boy, I, I would say about 10, 12 years old, with one of the truckers, and he was electrocuting the, the pigs to, to get them off the truck. Right, And after that day that we, we videotaped that and we showed the world how terrible this industry is, the next day there was two big signs on the, on the gate with, with no cameras. They don't want people to see you know, the, the cruelty. It's just powering the movement further. Any human being should be outraged because if they're trying to, to contain us and to silence animal rights activists, Who's to say there, you know, there's other groups that they're trying to silence. It's, it's never right to silence any group of people that are just trying to show the truth. We're showing what's happening inside these trucks. It's very, very important that everyone be active for the animals. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to do vigils. There's so many different things that you can do, but you must, you must be out there because so many systems are trying to silence us and um, we, we need numbers. Like that's the bottom line. The more of us that are, are telling our MPPs and, and politicians and the police that we, we don't approve of what's going on, the faster we're going to get to, you know, animal liberation. And right now we're at a stage where the animal rights movement is so small that people are getting away with things that are just crazy. Now, I won't say that all truckers are bad. In fact, I'm sure most of them are, are good people, but I have had personally two instances in front of the slaughterhouse where um, truckers try to run me over. One time a trucker tried to run me over and I got out of the way just in time. And uh, this, actually it was the security guards that said, are you gonna call the police? And I said, what's the point? They're, they don't care. And he's like, you have to call the police. That guy tried to kill you. So I did call the police. And the police basically laughed at us, said, well, we shouldn't be there. And then another time where uh, there, the police were there at the time when the trucker tried to run me over, the police officer looked at me and said, oh my God, what an asshole. And I'm like, you think? Yeah, maybe you should go arrest him like he tried to kill me. Anyway, until this day, this was in March, they still haven't arrested or done anything. And there was, there's plenty of other instances where, you know, there's a lot of aggression towards us animal rights activists. Like I, I even got beaten up by a police officer. Right. And and somehow he got away with it, saying it was self-defense. Of course, it wasn't self-defense. He threw me and another activist into that fence because he was pissed off that we were there and we were making his day like hard. And uh, we both had to go to the hospital and, and we had uh, injuries. And um, when I filed a complaint, they said, well, he said it was self-defense. I had a camera in my hand and he threw me into the fence. So I was there when Regan died. It wasn't careless driving, it was reckless driving, it was manslaughter, right? But somehow this trucker is getting away with 
killing this beautiful woman with nothing, with a slap on the wrist, and the police are letting this happen. This is, this is wrong. So even if you're not an animal rights activist, if you're a human rights activist, you, we need to be fighting this system that not only oppresses the animals, they oppress anyone and they try to shut up anyone that is trying to speak up for them. We're basically lumped in with the animals we're trying to support. So please, it is hard to be an activist. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but you, we have to do this. We have to get out there. We need the numbers and we have to fight these systems that are trying to silence us and they're trying to get away with unjust acts. So please find your voice and please be active for the animals.